right, so the way I want you guys to set this up, here I put uh, two blue band, just because I couldn't find my green one. But this is just a challenging resistance for me. So I want you guys to find a challenging resistance when you can go through the full range of motion. So if it's too much and you can pull down just a little bit, well, go down and load, all right? So here, the way I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna put my hand through and then wrap around and hold it in my hand. From here, I'm going to sit directly under the band with my legs in front of me, just with a slight bend, just for balance. When I'm going to do this movement, what I'm going to do is the first thing I'm going to back and down, and then I'm going to slightly lean back so I can really engage and focus on those upper body muscle, and then I'm going to pull down by pushing my elbow down and back and bring back up. So here, engage my shoulder down and back, and um, direct the movement with my elbow coming down and back. That's how you really get that upper, that upper back muscle engaged. Be very careful as you do this one that you're not, in, that you're not just staying straight up because here you're not gonna get as many muscle as if you lean back. That lean back is really crucial on isolating even more those upper back muscle. Another thing is that make sure that your shoulder are engaged down and back. So you don't want your shoulder to be here and pulling down. Again, we're not focusing on the right muscle if you're doing it this way. So from this side, one more time. Here, I'm gonna sit down and you can see, really watch my upper back. I'm going back and down. And from here, I'm going to slightly lean back and pull my elbow back and down. Here, pull my elbow back and down. And make sure it's a fast pull down. Squeeze for one second at the bottom and then slowly bring your arm back up. When you do this movement, it's very, very important that you feel the burn in the right muscle. So when you do this, instead of just thinking about crank, cranking out the repetition, really make sure that as you do them, you can feel your upper back muscle on your lat doing most, if not all of the work. That's what should be burning. If something else is burning, try to change your position a little bit. Think about what I just explained here. Maybe you wanna lean back a tad more. Maybe you're not driving the elbow back and down. So really focus on those things through this movement. I love this exercise. It's an easy way to be able to do your last pull down at home or at a club fitness. So here you go. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope this was helpful.